What is up everybody? It is Monday, which means it is time for photo assignments. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite selections from photo assignment number three. And there are some amazing photographs that you guys are about to see. Now, this was a segment that we did on eye level shooting. Now we did one on low angle shooting and next week we're going to approach high angle shooting. And so it only made sense to at least talk about eye level or mid-level shooting. And that's not really a thing. So it was very much open for interpretation. But I think the fun thing was is to see how widely that was interpreted by you guys. I did a video on that last week if you haven't seen it and I talked about basically whose eye level are you getting on? The subject's eye level or the viewer's eye level? And we talked about different situations for that. So there were a lot of images that ranged from street photography to photography of kids and portraits to some landscapes, which I thought was kind of interesting too. Without humans in the picture, you really don't have a context of where eye level is, but it's really interesting to see what some of these people have done with this. So without further ado, let's check out some images from Photo Assignment number three, eye level shooting. As you can see, there was obviously some outstanding work that was submitted this week, and I'm really proud of you guys. And it's really interesting now that we've done a few of these photo assignments now to see the quality overall really improving, and I'm really excited about that. I'm just kind of picking my favorite images in here, and I'm trying not to have the same people every time. I'm trying to vary that up. So if for some reason you didn't make it into the slideshow this week, do not give up, keep submitting. We're gonna have plenty of assignments as the year progresses. But I wanna take a second and talk about why I picked some of these images, because a couple of them are really, really good. Before I do that, I do wanna make a couple comments about submitting these on social media. First of all, I am tagging everybody's names. I'm trying to give credit on these. Some people do not use their real names on social media. They just have a username or a first name. And so just know that's where I'm getting it from. So if you submitted something and I put it in, I didn't actually use your name. Just make sure that's in your social profile if you want that in there. Um, the other thing I want to mention is watermarks. And I know this is a little bit of a controversial subject because some people love to do watermarks on their images and others aren't into it at all. I'm kind of of that second group. Um, I am crediting the images and I do it on the lower left. And a lot of times people put watermarks on the lower left and it gets a little muddy down down there. So I'm just saying it kind of gets in the way. If you want to watermark your images, that's fine. Just know that I am crediting them in here. Anyway, I do want to look at a couple images that I think particularly stood out to me and I want to just talk briefly about them. His first image is from Joshua K. Jackson, and I really thought this was outstanding. I retweeted it when he submitted it on Twitter, and I saw it on Facebook as well. This is a great image. Um, there's definitely a Saul Leiter influence going on here, which I think is really cool. And it kind of brings in this abstraction into street photography, basically. And so you kind of have a layer with the writing, and then the man in the back, and then some stuff in the foreground. I think it's a really mature, very well-composed image, and I think it's outstanding. Another one that I picked, just because it's really simple, it's kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, but I really love this. And this is from Robert Wari, and this is um, 
a portrait that he submitted that's just quite simple. It's a dirty window in the back, but it kind of contrasts the charmingness of the girl in the foreground. It's just very simple, very symmetrical, and he had captioned this that she is waiting on her last round of radiation treatments. So I don't know who the girl is. I assume that she's related, but uh, you know, I think that's amazing. It's awesome, and it's such a positive um, image, and I, that's why I chose that. I thought it was really great. Another one that I really liked, Anant Jane, I think is how you say your name. I'm not sure. Uh, the Sleeping Guy, which I think is fairly obvious why this image is just great. Uh, there's a sense of humor here. It's well composed. The depth of field works really well here. And, um, it's just a great image. I thought that was of particular note. And the last image I want to look at from Michael here, and this, this I really, really liked. And it's very simple. And it's very geometrical, it's very symmetrical, and it's just a tree with two houses in a snow scene. And I thought it was really simple and really beautiful. And what's interesting is in the instructional portion that I did on this assignment, I didn't really talk about shots that didn't have people in them or animals or something where you're relating to eye level. But I think this one works and I like the vantage point. And really, if you go all the way back to what we did with the first lesson on here, which was low angle photography, it's about interpreting three dimensions in a two dimensional space. While this one tends to break all of the rules that I talk about, it's very flat and it's very dead on, it works and I like the vantage point and I think that's why. And I really thought this image was, was, was wonderful and I, I, it spoke really well and so that's why I picked it. So. I feel like we're getting into a really good groove now with photo assignments. And basically the way this is working is we're doing these every Monday and it kind of switches off every week. But one week I will do this kind of thing where we talk about submissions from the last assignment and I'll introduce the next assignment. And then the following week I'll do kind of instructional based thing based on the next assignment. So that basically gives you two weeks to put together images for each of these photo assignments. And so I want to get some feedback from you guys. Is that too tight a timeline? I know we're moving kind of quick here. If it is, let me know. Maybe we can can find a way to space that out a little more or if it's not we'll keep right on schedule but I do want to get some feedback from you guys on that because I think it's really important that people are given the opportunity to participate in this so I want to know what you guys are thinking next week we are going to I will do an instructional video for our following assignment which is going to be on high angle shooting so we started out with low angle shooting where you're basically at a low vantage point shooting up we did kind of mid-tier eye level stuff this week and next week I'm going to talk about shooting from top down. So anyway, I will provide some more instruction on this in its dedicated video on Monday. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest videos that we do here. Until the next one, I will see you guys then. Later.